G'day, Ian Castle here, your Aussie vocal coach, and this is the 2021 Ultimate Vocal Workout for Baritones. You can use this workout as a daily vocal routine to improve your singing. I call it the Ultimate Workout because we will be covering the following, a vocal warm-up to activate your air and chord connection, exercises to activate and develop your head, chest and mixed voice resonance, full range exercises to blend and strengthen your range, agility exercises to fine tune your pitch and chord flexibility, and finally, a vocal cool down to relieve any tension and relax your voice muscles. If you enjoy the workout and would like to support my work, please consider a donation using the link below. Use the breaks between the exercises to take a sip of water, check your body for tension, and then prepare for the next exercise. You will hear my voice demonstrating each exercise to get you started. Let's begin. Vocal warm up. Let's do a few quick exercises to get your air moving and stretch and connect your vocal cords. Exercise one. Your goal for this exercise is to engage your diaphragm with each short shh. Take a relaxed breath in through your nose and exhale four short shh sounds, followed by a long tss. Let's do it together four times. Exercise two. Now it's time to get your vocal cords vibrating. Listen as I vocalize four hums. Notice how I gently engage the sound. It is not a breathy hum or an aggressive um. It's a balanced onset of sound as my vocal cords come together as the air passes through. Mm. Let's try it together. Let's do it again a little higher. Exercise 3. No vocal warm up would be complete without a lip trill exercise. It's great for getting your air moving while maintaining a relaxed throat and chord connection. We will vocalize a small range slide in an easy range. This will stretch your vocal cords and prepare you for the exercises to follow. <laughs> Okay, the next part of this workout is going to focus on resonance. You can use the resonating cavities of your chest, 
throat, mouth, nose and head to amplify and craft your vocal tone. I like to start with the head voice, as it makes it slightly easier to blend your voice later on in the workout. First, let's do some silly sounds to activate your head voice. Then we will morph these silly sounds into vocal exercises. I will demonstrate some silly sounds for you. Feel free to join in or pause the workout to experiment in this range. Silly sound one, having fun as a kid. Whee! Woohoo! Whee! Silly sound two, the police siren. Silly sound three, a dripping tap. Dweep, 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 dweep. Silly sound four, the dog whimper. Oh, 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 oh. Silly sound five, the tongue trill. Your family and neighbours will probably think you're crazy at this point, so let's continue with an exercise to develop your head voice. Your goal for this exercise is to sustain a light connected OO vowel combination. The U vowel forms a great mouth shape to access head voice. Imagine the tone releasing through the back of your throat and up through your head as you sustain the vowels. This will lift your soft palate, which makes the high notes easier to sing. I will play the notes in a generous range for you to explore your head voice capabilities. Don't feel you have to sing every note. If the exercise becomes too high or uncomfortable, stop and move to the next exercise. Let's give your head voice a bit more attention before moving on to the next resonator. The note combination of this exercise is a short melody from a popular song. Your goal is to sustain your head voice through the phrase. We will gradually ascend higher, so make sure you monitor any tension. Attempt the exercise just outside of your comfort zone to give your chords a slight stretch.
try to maintain a light, connected head voice. The next resonator we will work on is nasality. We will isolate this sound so that we can blend it in later. Nasality gives your voice brightness. We will vocalize the three nasal consonants M, N, and NG. Listen as I demonstrate the exercise. <laughs> Now it's your turn. Make sure you don't grip or tighten as you sing higher. Thank you. 
next exercise, we'll use the nasal consonants combined with vowels to allow your voice to release pressure and balance resonance between your nasal cavity and mouth. <laughs> Your mouth and throat is your largest resonator. You can achieve a powerful sound by opening up the back of your throat, flattening your tongue and projecting the, to the roof of your mouth. The exercise we will do achieves this ideal shape. By repeating the five note scale, you will build strength and endurance. The last sound gets your tongue forward and use a mirror to make sure you have plenty of space between your teeth as this will create space in your mouth and throat. La
Another great throat resonance tool is twang. We're going to do the baby cry exercise, wah. Focus on keeping the tone bratty and bright rather than loud. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. The final resonator we will focus on is chest resonance. You can experience this sensation by putting your hand on your chest and speaking. You should feel some vibration as you speak and sing in your lower range. Keep your hand on your chest as we do the next exercise. Maintain a relaxed throat and make sure you don't push as you sing lower. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mixed voice is the ability to blend different resonators as you move up and down your vocal range, dialing in nasality, twang and head resonance lower in your range can help you sing through your transitions and avoid embarrassing breaks. The first mixed voice exercise will focus on the transition out of chest voice, also known as your primo passaggio.
The second mixed voice exercise will focus on the transition from head voice back down into chest voice, also known as your secondo passaggio. This pivoting area is usually about four tones higher than your primo passaggio. This exercise will also feature a note pattern to develop vocal agility. It wouldn't be a complete Aussie Vocal Coach workout without a riffs and runs exercise to help you develop your vocal agility. You know the drill. I'll play and demonstrate the note combination at three different speeds. Then we will start to ascend to higher keys. Yeah! Now the medium tempo. Now the fast tempo. the fast tempo again with ascending and descending keys. I have included quite a bit of range in this exercise for you higher baritones that like to venture into tenor territory. Thank you. 
exercise for this workout is a full range round scale. This exercise will require you to sing throughout your entire comfortable range. Your goal is to move through your range by dialing in different resonators to navigate those tricky transition points. Here's a demonstration. Okay, now it's your turn. I'll start you off. Now make sure you only sing just outside of your comfort zone. Once the exercise becomes too high, wait for the exercise to come back into your range and then continue. You've done a lot of singing, so it's important to do a vocal cool down to relax your chords and throat muscles. Top down slides are great for this. I'll do a few for you to give you an idea. You can join in with me or pause the video. 
Notice the relaxed vocal fry at the end of each slide. Now we are going to sustain a relaxed hum in a comfortable range. Join in with me or pause the video. Congratulations, you have finished the ultimate vocal workout. You can use this workout daily to improve your voice. I will include timestamps in the comments section so that you can skip ahead next time now that you know what the exercises are supposed to do. If you enjoyed it and would like to see more workouts, hit the like button and leave me a comment to say hi. Bye for now.